Hey, fish fans, I'm Chris Dietrich here with the Sailfish Sports Network, where today the women's volleyball team defeated Eckerd College Tritons three games to none. I have with me Rachel Holhouse and Emma Ballantyne. Rachel, you changed roles this year. You're in a much different perspective when you're on the court. Tell us a little bit about the adjustments you're making. Well, you know, it's a new position, therefore I'm getting a lot more play time and touching a lot more balls, so it's a lot more fun. Um, but we have three solid back row players this year, so I think our back row is pretty awesome this year. And Emma, over to you. I mean, last year, first year player, and now you're coming in this year, you're putting a big impact on this team. What do you have to say about that? Um, I think the spring season and all the stuff we did in the off season really helped. And I just came back with more confidence than last year, and obviously it's working. And back to you, getting more involvement with the team, it, just, it seems like you guys are working really well together. The communication's been good as well. Absolutely. Me and Mel have been playing together for a while, so we uh, communicate great back there. And Susie's come in, and man, it's awesome. <laughs> well, it, it is awesome. And just one other thing is awesome is seven of eight today in kills with your attacks. I mean, just did everything seem to open up for you? Um, I guess I just saw the block better this game. They were blocking the outside a little more, so I had a little more room to swing away and. Now here with Coach White, who's kind enough to join us after another three to nothing victory, this time over Eckerd College. Undefeated season, still still going strong. What's uh, you know what's good about it is is that Eckerd is a really good program. They've been in the regionals at least the last two years. We've been there and they've been there. We haven't matched up with them, but so it's our first chance to up match up with them for in a couple years. So not only are we 16 and 0, but we beat a really really quality team. They just took a game from Tampa. They have three amazing front row play players. We had to contain at least two of the three, and we did a good job of that tonight. You talk about the competition getting stronger. You got a game here at the Rubin Arena on Wednesday against Barry. And then it's going to continue to be an uphill climb now, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't get any easier. And, and we know that. And, and we've set our goals and we're realistic about what we are. We, I don't think we thought we'd be undefeated at this point. We're, we're grateful for where we are. But we just got to take it one match at a time. We can't look past Barry because Barry's, Barry's a great program. They continue to get better every, every day that they play. And then beyond Barry, you know, we have, uh, we have some ranked teams coming in right after that. So it's, it's not easy, but uh, we'll, we'll just take it one match at a time and enjoy being 16-0 and right now. And back to the victory here today. Again, three to nothing, but still, it wasn't all that easy. Any adjustments they had to make or anything that stood out to you? Yeah, we kept having, they have, they have like we call them the big three. They have three girls, 11, uh, uh, eight, and, and three there that we had to try to move or keep moving our matches up. And at different points, different ones of them were playing well. And so we had to rotate our block to, to take care of the one that was playing well. And I thought every time that they went on a little run, we adjusted to that and we were able to push the lead out after that. Well, again, congratulations and Fish fans. The undefeated season for volleyball continues. They'll be back in action again right here at the Rubin Arena Wednesday night at 7 o'clock as they take on the Buccaneers of Barry. And again, be sure to check out pbasailfish.com for anything and everything that's the fish.